Let's go over to our man, Mr. Fred Ernest. Fred, folks, is the president and CEO of Vista Gold. Vista Gold is a well-funded uh, gold developer. Uh, their, their biggest project is uh, in Australia. Uh, I do happen to own Vista Gold. I uh, have been into it for uh, quite some time. Fred Ernest, welcome back to TFNN. Tom, it's good to be back. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So, needless to say, uh, we're in a different age now. Uh, everyone's staying safe. A uh, lot of volatility uh, inside the market. Uh, so, tell us what's been going on with uh, Vista Gold and uh, Mount uh, Todd uh, Gold Project in particular. Well, Tom, you know, things at, at Mount Todd continue to move forward. Uh, you know, we've, we've stated all along that our objectives are to efficiently optimize the project. We're to a point where we are, uh, we think we're a few months away from receiving our last major permit, which will be the, uh, the mine operating permit, or as it's known there, the mine management plan. And that will be a, that will be a tremendous milestone for us. That's for sure, man. I mean, this is pretty exciting, right? I mean, you know, Fred, can you give our audience a, an idea of like how long it takes to basically go through that type of process? Well, yeah, I, I, we started the environmental permitting in 2011. Okay. We received the EIS in 2014, and then we, re, we, we were required to obtain a federal environmental permit, which we worked on from 2014 to 2018. And in 2018, we submitted the the mine operating permit. And so, uh, I, I mean, we've been at it nine years. Yeah, pretty and it's a It's a lengthy process no matter where you're at. And there's a lot of boxes to check. And uh, we're very excited to see light at the end of the tunnel. And, and I suspect, I mean, this is where uh, the business that you're in, you never know when you start where the price of gold is going to be, right? You know? And we have a good price of gold, right? I mean, 17, uh, what, we're, well, we're 1691 right now. So how, how does this work in the correlation of where the price of gold is as to what your dirt or your ore you figure at this particular point is worth? Well, this is a phenomenal gold price for us. You know, we, we enjoy tremendous leverage to the price of gold. Our project, uh, because of the way it's designed and the efficiency of the of the project, it's a, it's a great project at at a 1350 gold price and and at nearly 1700 dollars, it's it's exceptional. Uh, just to kind of put it in perspective, the NPV of the project at uh, 1350 gold price is about 820 million dollars. Today, it's about 1.6 billion. I mean, just just the difference that. Uh, $350 in gold price makes is exceptional for those who believe that the price of gold is going to go even higher. Yeah, you all, you know, and what's so intriguing, of course, we uh, we saw the uh, numbers come out in Newmont, and they, they just uh, because of the gold price, their gross went up exponentially also. I mean, it's pretty amazing, I guess, because of the fact that so many thousands of ounces of dirt and gold in these mines, right? That's why once once you get to a certain point, I guess it goes up exponentially at that at, at some point. Well, it does, and and you know the other factor is that while we're seeing the gold price go up, we're not seeing our costs go up. In fact, energy costs are going down, um, diesel yeah. fuel and, and other costs, and so in in reality, our margins are improving in this market and. And with even constant gold production, with the improvement in prices, it makes a tremendous impact on the bottom line. Yeah, no, that that. How about that oil price, right? Oh my God, I, I was I was bringing that up because that 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 is something else. And hey, the, you know, the bottom line is that even this morning they came out with the API numbers, but guess what? Oil, you know, started to back down again, which which you know for all of us is is a positive. That's for sure. How does it work, Fred? That you know, you're you're in Australia, right? And currency-wise, how would that work once you, you get a partner and, and we go forward with the mine? So right now, uh, the, uh, the foreign exchange rate is, uh, is very important to us. Uh, the Aussie dollar is about 64 cents uh, U.S. per Aussie dollar today, and, uh, and that, has, uh, that has a tremendous impact. Uh, just for example, uh, from 2018 to 2019, the, the, the Aussie dollar decreased in value 10 cents. And that added about $150 million to the NPV of our project at a 1350 gold price. So you could essentially double that impact today. So, so the, the, imp the impact of foreign exchanges is, is very important. Uh, this is a great time to be 
looking at mines in Australia. Uh, Australia is experiencing, in Australian dollar terms, record gold prices. The margins for Australian producers is better than it's ever been. And, you know, folks, I, I, I'll, I'll put this up as, as Fred and I are talking. And it, it is, it's pretty amazing, Fred, that when, when we take a look at this, and I, I do this quite a bit for the, for the listeners, right? And what I'm doing is I'm taking the, uh, the price of gold, you know, in U.S. dollars, right? And then I'm putting it on a, uh, basically a 15-year chart. And as you just said, I mean, it's, I think it's hard for folks in, in the United States to understand that, you know, we haven't broken the highs in our currency, but yet in, you know, Aussie dollars, this has gone to 28, 20, 79, and our, that, that blew away the highs of 2011, which is that uh, 1,827. So pretty impressive, man. I mean, big time, right? Yeah, well, back, back then, the, the value of the Aussie dollar was very strong. You know, we yes. were in a commodity boom, and, and, and the Aussie dollar was trading at almost parity to the U.S. dollar. Right. Today, today, those who are producing gold in Australia have considerable economic advantages because of the foreign exchange difference. Right. So now, when we started the slideshow, and, you know, this slideshow, folks, you can remember this program's archive. We're gonna, this will be out on YouTube also. Uh, the title, Mount Todd Gold Project Partner Ready. So talk to us about how, where, you, where you think this is going to go going forward. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, when people look at Vista Gold, they ought to remember just a couple of things. First of all, that we, tr we enjoy tremendous torque, tremendous leverage to the, to the gold price. Second, that the, that the project that we've been working on for so long because of the time that we've had and the permits that we've received and all the engineering, there's, there's low risk. I mean, there's very, very little that could go wrong with the project. Uh, you know, we've, we've, uh, most of the engineering is at feasibility study standards. The permitting is almost all in hand. Second or third is location. You know, the, where it is, the size of the project, the cost structure of the project, and then, and then last of all is the point that you brought up. Uh, it's, it's partner ready, which really means low dilution for shareholders because we're not gonna go out and build this ourselves. Our plan is to find a partner. And while those plans have been slowed down a little bit with the COVID-19 pandemic going on globally and the restrictions in travel, we're still moving forward and we're signing confidentiality agreements and we're working with people to help them understand the project and get to know them with the idea that we're looking for a partner who will buy into the project, most likely be the senior partner, will be the junior partner, but we hope to be in a position where ultimately at the, at the end of the day, we're the, we're the owner of 40% of a project without having to cough up much money or to go out to the market to raise money in order to fund our part. Yeah, well, it's been incredible what you've done.